Welcome to part 10 of the MongoDB series. <clears throat> In this video, we're continuing with the Twitter clone. We're going to create a uh, the homepage and we're going to create a header for it. So this should be pretty simple. All we have to do is, and this is the page that the user is redirected to when they log in. So we're gonna start a session. We're gonna require dbconnect.php. Then we're also going to have that same check. So if a user is there, if a user is in the session variable, actually we want to do if the user is not signed in, then we're gonna redirect them back to the login page. Finally, we're going to do something like this. We're going to, going to make a variable called user data. And essentially, what we're going to do is we're just going to have this variable that contains all of the data for our user that's currently signed in. So we get that ID from the session variable. Put a semicolon. Looks like we're good to go. All right. Now the HTML here is pretty simple. So far, we're gonna have we're gonna do a PHP include uh, header.php. We're gonna include this on the other pages that we make in future videos. And this is just gonna be some easy HTML. You a little div with a span that echoes the username a link to the home page, a link to your user's profile with um, which we will get to and a user list and a logout file so this is a little sneak preview at the pages we're going to be making in the next couple videos so if you log in okay so we have a syntax error on line 10 probably missing a parentheses no I'm missing a semicolon right here let's try it again alright so it says, welcome John, this is the user that I created, that I signed in as, and you have all these links, and that is how to start off with the homepage.